What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Uber Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Anthony Joshua says that he's going to, he can't wait to outbox Deontay Wilder and knock out Tyson Fury, stating that all you have to do with Tyson Fury is put pressure on him, uh, pin him down, and then you can knock him out. He said with Deontay Wilder, he doesn't have the boxing ability, so I'm just going to outbox him and then uh, to a victory. You know, he said with Tyson Fury, it's going to be playing no games. It's not going to be jab, jab, you know, dance around the ring, playing around situation. He said, no, that's not going to happen. I'm going to stand firm. I'm going to cut the ring off. I'm going to um, corner him, and then I'm going to knock him out. He says with Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder does possess the power. You know, so you have to be careful in your approach. He says, but you can outbox Deontay Wilder. He says, so that's my game plan, and I can't wait to do it. He says, as far as Jarrell Big Baby Miller goes, um, I'm going to, uh, um, there's no game plan for it. I'm just going to walk him down, beat him up, and uh, um, there's no there's no blueprint on how to how to box uh, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. So I'm just going to walk him down and beat him up, and just beat him up, and beat him up, and beat him up, and beat him up. That's what he said. Uh <clears throat> I have to agree with Anthony Joshua. That is the way to beat uh, uh, all the opponents that he named. All right, okay? Um, with Tyson Fury, you just have to corner him. You have to be patient. I love what I was saying about Deontay Wilder. Be patient. Go downstairs, then upstairs. You know, target the body. Just cut the ring off. You know, don't don't get into a jab fest with him. Don't get into a, a, um, a, a, show, a showman fest, you know, where... He's he's showing you up. He's he's um he's playing around. He's dancing. Don't don't allow him to do that. You know, just cut the ring off. Just stay firm on your on your um on your ground. You know, uh, um, put a lot of pressure on him. Cut the ring off. Corner him, and then you, you go for the knockout with Tyson Fury because he'll give it to you, right? We have seen Steve Cunningham have success and knock him down. We have seen um uh, uh him in the situation with Vladimir Klitschko. Where Vladimir Klitschko got into a jab fence, a boxing fence with him, and then we seen him get out box for twelve rounds. Um, we seen Deontay Wilder get frustrated at times, um, playing into his hands with a jab fence, and then uh, um, when Deontay Wilder did decide to sit down on his punches, just cut the ring off, cut him off, and we seen him knock him down twice, right? Nearly knocked him out, in my opinion, knocked him out. Uh, but Jarrell Big Baby Miller is a tough cookie. OK, you're not going to outbox him because he's going to put a lot of pressure on you. Uh, you're not just going to go in there, cut the ring off and knock him out. That's not going to happen. So you're going you got to get ready. You got to get ready for a slugfest. Right. You got to be uh, um, you got to get inside. You got to get um, dirty, down and dirty. Put your hard hat on and go to war when it comes to Jarrell Big Baby Miller. So I agree with Anthony Joshua. Now, the thing is, can Anthony Joshua um, complete these tasks? I highly doubt it, you know, uh, reason being, and don't get me wrong, it's still a 50-50 fight. Um, Anthony Joshua Tyson Fury is a 50-50 fight. Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder is a 50-50 fight. Uh, Anthony Joshua Jarrell Big Baby Miller is a 50-50 fight. Um, reason being, um, Tyson Fury ha is very flea-footed. He's very elusive, as uh, Anthony Joshua um, uh, uh, alluded to. He said, uh, he, he touched on it, he said Tyson Fury is very elusive. He's very slippery and it's, it's a difficult task. So you have to be very disciplined, stay calm, um, and don't get frustrated, cut the ring off and then knock him out. And I agree. Uh, the thing with that is Anthony Joshua is very stiff, very robotic. Um, he doesn't move his head very much. This is why I favor Deontay Wilder to get the knockout over Anthony Joshua due to the fact that Anthony Joshua does not move his head. Anthony Joshua is not, um, very, uh, uh slick as far as his, waist up, upper body movement, right? He's a, he's a still target, right? He's going to give you something to hit. It's just up to you if you can take the return fire, right? Um, we've seen um, Dylan White have success. Although these fighters weren't successful overall, they did have success in the fight, okay? And uh, I know people are going to say, well, they didn't get the W. Well, that, you know, Styles make fights, and that doesn't mean that you know, uh, this is just showing you the opening, how to defeat him. Everybody has a weakness, okay? And so Anthony Joshua's weakness is he's very robotic, he's very stiff in his approach. Uh, um, he doesn't move his head, and that's going to uh, um, bold to be a very, very bad situation for him with Deontay Wilder because he's, he doesn't move his head well. Deontay Wilder is uh, very athletic. 
He's very fast and he's very long and limbo. So he's going to be able to touch Anthony Joshua from a distance. Deontay Wilder's not going to have to stand inside and trade with him. And that's going to, um, and that's going to be uh, the issue with the fight with him and Deontay Wilder because Deontay, he's going to be on the end of Deontay Wilder's straight right, his power punches, and that's not going to go over well. Okay? That's going to prove to be the difference in the fight. With Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury is very elusive, very quick, very nimble on his feet, and he's very active. He throws a jab, uh, he, he, you know, angles from, uh, punches from angles you don't see, you know, very unorthodox, and that's going to lead to an issue due to the fact that, again, Anthony Joshua is not uh, athletic. Well, he's athletic, but he's not, um, no, he's not athletic, you know, in the ring. He's not flea-footed. He's very stiff, and he's very robotic, and he doesn't move his head. He's a big guy and a big, powerful guy is what he is. And so that would prove to be the difference in most of his fights, except for the Dominic Brazil fight. But we see Dominic Brazil defense is not there. Dominic Brazil is there to get hit. Dominic Brazil has been hurt and rocked by lesser um, opposition. So it wasn't a surprise to see Dominic Brazil come up short against Anthony Joshua, who's a big, strong guy himself. So um, that was no surprise. Now, when you when you talk about... Um, Tyson Fury, who's bigger than Anthony Joshua, so he won't have a size advantage. He has zero advantages over, over Tyson Fury, which could prove to be a very difficult task for him over 12 rounds. And I see him getting out of box for 12 rounds. Now, is there a possibility that Anthony Joshua can cut the ring off and knock out Tyson Fury? Yes, there is. Because Anthony Joshua, I believe it's the 50-50 fight, in my opinion. I know a lot of people say uh, Anthony Joshua hasn't fought top-notch opposition. But for this generation, you know, uh, they're all the same. You know, uh, we cannot knock their opposition if we, you know, um, uh, uh, trying to bolster their careers and, and uh, support them. Because at the end of the day, they can only fight the opponent in their era. So this is not a great era of heavyweights. You know, it hasn't been for quite some time. So, you know, we can't knock them for the level of opposition that's out there. So uh, he can fight the Luis King Kong Ortiz's of the world, um, which ironically enough, I find it um, very... Uh, uh, alarming that he didn't even mention Ortiz, right? And he said that he wanted to fight Ortiz should the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight not come to fruition after if, if he's successful after the Jarrell Big Baby Miller fight. But then he didn't describe how to beat Tyson Fury. He went into Tyson, he, I mean, uh, Luis Ortiz, he went into Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Jarrell Miller, which is a telltale sign that he doesn't want to fight Luis King Kong Ortiz because that's a very, a very difficult task to solve. It's a very, that, that puzzle is very difficult to put together. Um, it's probably the, diff the most difficult puzzle in the heavyweight division to put together out of all of them. Uh, so with that said, um, uh, Luis Ortiz has the, the boxing ability, the quickness and the, 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 the foot movement as a, a in, of a Tyson Fury, but he's not sure the power a la Deontay Wilder, you know, more, maybe more on the level of Dillian White or, or, or Anthony Joshua, but he's not short of it. <laughs> he's not shy of power, right? So that, that proves to be a very difficult uh, hill to cross, um, a very difficult hill to climb. Um, with that said, you know, um, that leads us to uh, Jarrell Big Baby Miller, who I believe um, poses the threat of Anthony Joshua has shown stamina issues quite, you know, quite a bit in his career. Uh, we have Jarrell B. Baby Miller, who's probably showed the least um, amount of stamina issues out of all the heavyweights in the heavyweight division. And ironically enough, he's the one that's 300 plus pounds, right? Uh, he, but he throws 60, 70, 80 punches around, right? Um, he, now, I would, the, the one knock on him is he doesn't, have the, he doesn't possess the power of the rest of the heavyweights. You know, uh, he doesn't even come across to have the same power as Tyson Fury. You know, um, he shows that, uh, uh, and I think that's due to his foot placement, the fact that he was a kickboxer in his career. Um, you know, he doesn't really sit down on his punches. So I think that proves to be the reason why he doesn't have the power is because your power comes from your legs. Yeah, he has very um, tree trunk type legs, but it's the manner that you, um, the, traje the trajectory that you use it in to, uh, uh, to garner the power. And, and I think that's just shows to be the issue, proves to be the difference and the issue with him as far as, you know, he, he's been a kickboxer. So his stance 
and the way he presents his um, punches is just the reason why he doesn't um, have a lot of power on his punches. But he's very active, so he throws 67. What he doesn't ha have in power, he makes up in activity. So he throws 60, 70, 80 punches around for a heavyweight is unheard of in any era, especially for a guy that's 300 pounds. 317 pounds his last fight. You know, um, now that weight, he's he's not as tall as Anthony Joshua, but he's bigger than Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua's six foot six, he's six foot four, but he's three hundred and seventeen pounds. You know, he could come in this fight around three hundred and twelve pounds, I think he would come in between three hundred and three hundred and twelve pounds. I don't think he's gonna come in as heavy as three hundred and seventeen pounds. But that is going to be an issue, that weight laying on you, leaning on you. And he's not going to be able to knock him out in the first round or anything of that nature. So um, that could prove to be a, a problem for Anthony Joshua as it goes into the second half of the fights. As, as Anthony Joshua's power starts to fade in the second half of fights, you know, where and he's in uh, Jarrell Big Baby Miller activity and he's still going to be there, still working and working you, we could see Anthony Joshua get hurt in the second round, of the, in the second half of that fight, man. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if Jarrell Big Baby Miller pulls off the upset. In some people's eyes, you know, but uh, Styles make fights. So uh, I favor Anthony Joshua. Um, I think that it's a 50-50 fight with all of these fights. But um, I, I understand and I, and I respect what he said and how to, to defeat these fighters. I agree. That's how you have to defeat him. You have to outbox Deontay Wilder. Can he outbox Deontay Wilder for 12 rounds? No, I don't think so. I think that he's, like I said, that he's too too stiff, too robotic, and doesn't move his head. Deontay Wilder is athletic enough, patient enough. Uh, you know, we see him get a little uh, unpatient um, in the Fury fight, but when he did, you know, relax, settle down, we saw the results. Tyson Fury went to sleep, right? So uh, with, with Anthony Joshua, you know, um, patience is key, you know, and Deontay Wilder just stay patient. And eventually, Anthony Joshua was going to give him the target to hit and uh, early and often. And Deontay Wilder was going to take advantage of that. And I don't think Anthony Joshua could withstand that. We've seen Anthony Joshua hurt and drop by Vladimir Klitschko. This is a 40-plus-year-old Vladimir Klitschko that never in his career hit as hard as Deontay Wilder. We've seen uh, Dylan White rock Anthony Joshua. We've seen um, Carlos Tackham um, rock Anthony Joshua at times. So we've seen this before. This is not nothing new. Um... And so with that said, I don't think that he could pull it off, but I'm very intrigued to see it because they're all 50-50 fights, and I do, do think that he does have the abilities to pull it off. I just don't see him pulling it off, you know. But uh, uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Blue. Let me know what y'all think, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.